Member for Port Moody, Coquitlam. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Over the last couple of weeks, I've had the pleasure of reading poetry from two Port Moody secondary students during our morning reflections. I put a call out for poetry a few months ago because I wanted to give young people a chance to speak directly to us, the leaders, the ones working to address the big challenges we face together as a society. The poems that I received were creative and reflective, but a lot of them also conveyed concern for the future. As we look around the world today, we, we do see things that are causing concern. We see wildfires burning out of control in our neighboring province in May. We see temperatures of 31 degrees a few days ago in the Northwest Territories, beating the previous record by four degrees. Across the ocean in Vietnam, we see temperatures of 44.2 degrees, the highest temperature ever recorded in that country. The last eight years have been the eight hottest years on record globally. And more records are going to be broken each and every year. This is the world that our young people are growing up in. A better future sees change, writes Emma Dermashai. We can arrange a world that's better for us all, writes Srinitya Mankala. And we can. And despite the great work that we're doing, here in this house, temperatures continue to rise, but we can do even more. In this house and in houses like this all around the world, let's all build a better future for the next generation. Thank you.